Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn how to change the page layout of your site. It may be home page, it may be any CMS page, it may be category page, it may be product detail page, it may be any model specific page. We are going to change the page layout. Now, if you are new to this channel, I request you to subscribe and hit the like button of this video and make sure that you hit the bell icon also so that you will get notifications of newly uploaded videos. I keep on updating these videos on the YouTube so that you guys can learn easily. Let's get started. First, let's understand what are the page layouts we have and how we can change it. Page layouts are basically called as the structure of your page. This page can be one column, two column left, two column right or three columns. Not question must be what are these? So one column means there is a header. There is a footer as well and the content part is divided into only one column. Okay. This is called as a one column. Let's take another example. So let's say if I click on this category, any of the categories, then it will open a page like this. Okay. Now what is this page layout? This page layout is header and there is a footer and the main content area is divided into two columns. Isn't it? One is the left and then and there is a main content area. Now this is called as a two columns left because there are two columns and the small portion is just beside the left side. So two columns left. If this portion comes to the right side, then that is called as a two columns right. If there is a this content area is divided into three parts, three columns, then it is called as a three columns left content and there will be something similar one more column will be here in the right side that is called as a three columns clear very good now the point is how we can update it if your home page looks like this and if you want to change the page layout you can go directly to the content and then pages okay this is not only about the home page this is all about the same as pages we have in magento now, how will you understand that where are these pages are and how we can change it? So, when you click on content pages, you will see this page. Okay. So, this is having the list of all pages which are present on your site. So, if you want to change the layout of one of these in pages, you can do it directly if you double click and you have options. You can just select and do it. Okay. This is regarding the pages which are there in the content pages. Okay. So here home page is also there. You can change, try changing from there. Okay. And there are some more pages like privacy, uh, cookies, others like that stuff. So that's kind of things is that you can go easily over there and try changing. Wonderful. What if I want to change the page layout of this category pages? Suppose I clicked on this part, now this category. So this page is open up. Now, this is a two column layout. Now, suppose I want to change this column layout. Now, how will I do it? To change the page layout of category pages, you need to go to the content, uh, catalog and then categories. Catalog and then categories. When you click on this, you will see this type of page. You need to select the category where you want to update the layout. Select that category. And once you select, this page will load. And you can see in the design, there is an option of layout. And here, you have all the options of layouts available in your system. You can select this, you can save, clear, cache, and your category page layout will change. Clear? What you need to do is go to the catalog, then the categories, and here you will need to select the category which you want to update the layout. Select it here, and then once you select, suppose I want to change the layout of this. So I will select this. Once you select, your page will load, and this page will have the details about this specific category. I will go to the design, and here in the layout, I will select the layout I want. I will select and save. After clearing cache, you will category page will have this there. Amazing. So we learned till now home page, category pages. Now let's talk about the product detail page, product view page. Now suppose you want to change the layout this of this product detail page. How will you do it? You will go to the products here. How will you go to the products? You will click on the catalog here and then products. Catalog, products. Cool. When you click on the products, you will see the list of the products available on your site. You will 
select the product of which you want to change the layout. So let's take an example of that I want to change this layout. I will click here. Once you click, you will pay, you will see the page like this. Isn't it? You will see these details of the product. What you need to do, go to the design here, here in the layout. You have these options. Wonderful. Once you have these options, you can select from them and save. And once you save, clear the cache and you will see that new layout of your product. Wonderful. Now, this is what we have already in Magento Admin Panel. What if I am creating my own module? What if all there are modules available already on the site? Right. So let's say example of advanced search. If I click on this, you can see advanced search page. What, what is this layout? This layout is a one column layout, right? So there is only one portion, one column in the content area. So that is called as a one column. Now, if I want to change this model specific page layout, how will I do it? I will tell you where is this page layout defined. Winter, Magento and module theme here. Model theme directory, we will go to the view, front end and page layout. Can you see here? You can see these layouts available. One column, two column left, two column right and three columns. Isn't it? We will talk about this advanced search page, changing the page layout now. How will we do it? We will go to that specific module. Let me see. Advanced search. So when we click, yes, so when we click, you can see the URL, it builds like catalog search advanced. As you know, when any URL hits in the browser, what is the Magento has defined the URL is front name, controller, and then action, isn't it? So front name is a catalog search, advanced, and index. So from here, I can point it out that it must be in the vendor. Why, uh, why module catalog search? Why? Because catalog search is the front name they have given. This is just an indication that I can look into this module, okay? Catalog search is there. Then we, let me go to the view, front end, and the layout. Which page it says? Catalog search, advanced, and then index. Catalog search, advanced, and index. Why index? Because if nothing is mentioned over there, it means that action or that controller or whatever it is, it must be indexed. So let me go over there, open this page. Wonderful. So you can see that here, what is the page layout? One column. And that's why it is displaying one column. Now the question comes, suppose I want to change this layout. What will I do? I will go to my theme directory now. So I have a theme in app design front end. The coach is be my theme. Okay, so this is a vendor, this is theme name. Now what I will do, I will create the same folder over here. What is the folder name? Module name. It is a mo module catalog search. So how will I write here in my theme? I will create a new folder, Magento. Instead of module, I will write Magento underscore. And there is a catalog. So C will be capital, catalog, and then search. So S will be capital. Why capital? Because it is separated by the hyphen. Okay, it is separated by the hyphen. That's why I made this S as a capital. Okay, if it is like simply catalog, mod, uh, model catalog, I will write magento underscore catalog like this. Okay, wonderful. So inside this, I will. I will create a folder called as a layout. So inside the theme, directly layout folder will be created. And if it is a module, then view front end, then the layout folder comes. Okay. So this is the difference between the module layout files and the theme layout files. So if it is, if we are overriding or if we are changing in the theme, you need to directly create the layout folder over here. So let me just create layout folder. And inside of that, I will copy this file where I want to make these changes. I will copy and paste it. And I will edit this file now as per my wish. Now, since this code is already there, I don't want it. But I will keep the head tag, keeping the same, but only change this page layout. Now, what is this page layout? I will change to view front end page layout. Let me give this name two columns right. Okay. So I will give the layout two columns right. Okay. Wonderful. So two columns left. So two columns left I have given here. Okay, I'm expecting now that my page will have left here column and plus this portion in the shifted to here. Let's go ahead and let's clear caching. Have you seen what changes we made? We created a folder magento underscore catalog search 
layout and inside that layout we created this part we just copy and paste it and only change this layout to this let me clear cache now php with magento c colon f is helping me to clear cache cache has been flushed let's see and refresh this page now meanwhile the page is loading make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon wonderful you can see here now this left column is added see this is super easy now what if i have my own module and i want to change the page layout in that model now what what are the things i need to update over there if i want to change the page layout we'll go to the app code and there here it must be your module present i will go over there and go to that module and we'll go to view front end and the layout now here some xml file must be there okay that may be pointing to the page isn't it i will edit this file and we will check it here layout is mentioned one column so here i will make it to whatever column i want to make it i will save i will make it here three columns for example columns make sure you write the correct spelling three columns i will save it clear the cache and we'll see the page on the front end so it will look like three columns now this is super easy hope you learn all about the page layout in this single video make sure you like this video see you in the next video thank you so much till then bye bye take care